Hey guys, what is going on? It is your boy Smithers Boss, and today I've got an awesome vehicle to tour with you guys. I know it's been a while for the series, but we are back, and I've got a private helicopter designed by the Tift on the world of Corrales, but I kind of made adjustments to the color palette, but thank you, the Tift, for your awesome design. I just want to share it and stuff, so no credit by me on my behalf, but awesome helicopter, buddy. Let's get right into this. Hope you enjoy the tutorial. Okay guys, so let's get into the tutorial, but before we start, if you could leave a like on this video, it would be so appreciated. The support recently has been absolutely awesome. If we could keep that going, that would be absolutely freaking awesome. But anyway guys, let's get straight into the actual building of this thing. What you're going to want to do, I've just placed some markings out, because doing a tutorial off the top of your head, it's kind of tricky with a complex design like that one there. So, you're going to start by just placing a black stained clay down there. Pretty simple guys, pretty simple. Now what you're going to do guys is you can place a cobblestone stair on the back of it upside down like this and then place two cobblestone slabs going like this. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Just like that guys. You're going to come in two blocks. So a two block gap and you're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and then mirror that on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then you're going to come up one just like this on two blocks in from this one and then do exactly the same here now on the ends of these little sticky out cobblestone slabs you're going to place black stained clay and another black stained clay now for this side guys you are going to place cobblestone stair just normally facing the wheel like that and then another one like this and then place your button in the middle like so on this side you are only going to place it on the left side so you're going to one just like this button in the middle and then one and then out you're going to place quartz stairs and then another one guys so it comes out one from the actual wheel itself but for that layer we are good okay guys so layer two we will need quartz stairs black wool cobblestone wool spruce wood and buttons now what you're going to do guys you're going to come here and we're going to place one here and then place another quartz stair there delete that one because we don't need it and then place along here so you've got nothing supporting the underneath so they're just straight quartz stairs going up now on the back of here you'll place one two three four five six seven eight nine guys in a black wall then you're going to come in two delete that one come in another two and this forms the point of the helicopter now you're going to delete that middle block come out two then you're going to do your nine again all the way to the end so one two three all the way to nine just like that guys on the front of the helicopter you're going to place a button there just like the one over there and one right here you're then going to place another one here so on the nine and then on the second one in do the exact same there on the top of the wheel guys we're going to place a cobblestone wall pretty simple stuff guys pretty simple indeed now what we're going to place is one two just like this guys of uh spruce wood and then we're going to place one two three four five six seven eight and continue it down we're gonna leave the two gaps there guys because we don't need them at the moment boom just like that guys pretty simple indeed now from the back here we're gonna come out one two three one two three guys exactly the same we're going to leave one gap there which is going to be filled with spruce wood and then we are going to them carry on one add another one here guys so like that and then bring it out two in total now on the second one in we're going to place a button then another button just like that and that is level two complete okay guys so for level three what we are going to use is some black wool some snow some snow caps some stone brick stairs some gray wool some cobblestone slabs a stone slab and a trap door so what you're going to do guys is you're going to get your gray wool and you're going to place it either side of the quartz stairs and in the center of them you are going to place stone slab just like that guys pretty simple stuff and here you're going to place one then next to it so it's going to look like that you're then going to come in one with the gray wool and do exactly the same on the other side apart from here you're not going to have two stone slabs we're just going to carry it on till it matches up leaving you with five of the gray wool pretty simple if you ask me 
Now on these sides here, guys, we are going to place one upside down stone brick stair. And on the other opposite, so they're going to look like this facing each other, guys, and then we can just replace that there. Now what we're going to do, guys, with black wool, we're going to place one, two, three, four, guys. And then we're going to do exactly the same here, just like that. So we've got a four gap just there. We are then going to place one there, and we're going to continue one, two, three, take it out two guys, just like this. And then with the cobblestone slabs, we're going to place one, two, and then on the end of them, a trap door. Boom. Pretty simple stuff. Not very difficult to follow. Indeed. Now to the front, we're going to place one, two, three, four. Then we're going to leave it right there. Then another one, one, two, three, four guys. Just like this, we're going to come in one. Just like that. Two. Just like that. Three. Boom. And then four. So, that's what it should look like with your snow. And now for the snow caps, guys. We're going to place one, two, three, four. Just like that. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, four. And one, two, three, four. That is it for layer three, guys. Hopefully you're following along easily. I'm pretty sure it's very, very simple to follow. So that's it for layer three. Okay guys, so now for layer four, the materials you're going to need are called slabs, snow, a sign, some upside down or, you know, just normal stone brick stairs, gray wool, cobblestone slabs, quartz stairs, trap door, and black stained glass for the windows. Now, what we're gonna start off with guys is placing on the side here, one, two, like that. And then here, guys, we can place one, two, three, four, five. Oh, no, four, guys. Sorry, leaving a gap here for the window. Just like that, guys. And here, what we are going to be doing is placing a quartz slab on the end of it, just like this. Now, on the other side, we are going to be placing snow there. And we can place it all the way along, missing out the gap there. So, it's continued exactly like that. And then a quartz slab straight on the end just as we did on the other side now we're going to get our gray wool and one up from these we're going to place one two three four just like that and then along and get around so we made like a little half rectangle with the end cut off just like that guys and we're going to place one two just like that now what we're going to be doing is placing a upside down stone brick stair like that guys and we're going to place our black wool so we need to just take this quartz slabs out Grab some black wool and place one, two, three. Oh, just accidentally did that. So three on the end of here, guys. Then you're going to place two stone slab like this. Pretty simple stuff. Pretty simple. You're going to grab your quartz stairs. And what you're going to do, you can place one there and one there. So it's facing down. Delete this one and place an upside down one facing that way. That's going to be the beginning of our back propeller. It's also pretty simple guys we're going to place a sign above this right next to the door there and what we're going to do at the front of the plane or the plane the helicopter is placed one block there black stained glass and on the other side just mimicking jump in one take it out two jump in one take it out two and then jump in one just like that so guys that is layer five or four layer four it's getting pretty simple and it this is where it kind of gets a little bit complicated but we will do it. Okay guys, so onto layer five we go. The materials you will need are black stained glass, snow, snow caps, gray wool, quartz slabs, quartz stairs, black wool, stone slabs, some trap doors and some buttons in the future and some stone bricks um, stairs. But we will just get onto this uh, as we go. So what you are gonna do guys, you are gonna place one like this, just there. And that is gonna be it. And you're gonna jump one, two, like that. So you leave a gap in the middle, and what we're going to do, you're going to do exactly the same on this side. Boom. Just like that. Leave a gap. And then do another window. So that one's got three guys. And this one only has two. Now what you're going to do is you'll want to place. Boom. Boom. Fill that in with snow. Boom. Boom. Fill that in with snow guys. And what you're going to do on top of here. This is the top of our doorway. You're going to place two stone slabs just like that. That goes there guys. So uh, that's just a normal snow and uh, then two snow just there now on the top of here guys you're going to place one two like that and one two like 
that. So now you're kind of overlapping the grey wall um, over these two grey walls down here, which I just accidentally deleted. <laughs> and uh, what you're going to do here, guys, is you're going to place one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. Okay. So the server's kind of being a little glitchy here, but one, two, three, four, five, six should do the trick, guys. And it looks pretty cool, just giving you a hint of grey through there. We're now going to grab our black wall and do one, two, just like that. One, two. And then we're going to go one, two, until we get to here, where we are now going to get our stone brick uh, stairs. And we're going to place one like this. Boom. And one the opposite way, like this. So it forms this kind of shape. Just like that, guys. And we're also going to place one, two, three, four, five, six, seven blocks okay now what we're gonna do we're gonna grab our buttons guys just like this and we're gonna place one there and we're gonna come in one and just above this place that straight there which is a trap door kind of acting as our wind kind of shield guiding us down when the helicopter is landing exactly the same on this side guys just like that i'm pretty sure i just missed that there we go boom pretty simple stuff now for the front windows guys what we are to do is we're gonna come in by one like this on each side just like that guys and then two in the middle so the helicopter is starting to take shape and uh, that's what we got so far let's go on to layer six okay guys so this is layer six and we are almost done now what you're gonna want for materials is snow then your trap doors then your cobblestone slabs quartz slabs gray wall black wall and your quartz stairs now what we're gonna do on the front of here guys we're gonna replace one quartz slab like this Coming in again, one on each side, and then two, so it overlaps a window and a snow block on each side. Just like that, guys. We are then going to place four of the snow blocks, just like that. And then on the end of that, we're going to place a quartz slab. So, it should look something like this. Now what you're going to do with your black wall, we're going to place, let's see, one, two, just like that, one, two, just like this, guys. Three on the end. And you're going to come in one there, just like this. So we've made another kind of cut off rectangle. It's pretty simple. Then we're going to place one, two, three, I believe, just like this. And then on the top of these uh, stone brick stairs and one black wall, place one, two, three. And then at the end of that, we're going to place a trap door. Coming to the end over here, guys, what we're going to do is place one stair facing us and then one stair facing the opposite direction. Kind of mimicking the bottom, but flipped. But that is it for layer 6, guys. So, guys, this is layer 7, and I'm probably going to do 8 and maybe 9 in this as well. Because there's not really much to the following layers. So, what we are going to do is come to here. This should have been part of layer 6, uh, but it kind of made sense to do it now, considering things are going to overlay. So, what we're going to do is place 1, 2, just like that, guys. 1, 2, just like that. And then 1, 2, just like that. Now, on the tops of these... Just the inside ones, we can place one, two, three. Sorry if you can't see because of the shaders mod. Snow's kind of a bit trippy. One, two, three. And one, two, three, guys. So, you should have something that looks a little bit like this. Now, what we're going to do on the two middles of these, we're going to place one, two of snow. One, two of snow. In the middle, one, two. And one, two. Now, here we're going to place a block there. And a block of black wall there. And delete the one under it. Now we're going to place four blocks of iron, so one, two, three, four, just like that guys, and we're going to, you know, put black wool along the sides of them until they match up with that black wool there. And we're going to place two to fill the gap up just like this. Now what you're going to do guys, you're going to get your iron pressure plate or your metal pressure plate, and what you're going to do, you're going to apply one there, and on the end there, a cobblestone wall is going to go centered here. And then for over to this part of the, you know, helicopter blades, you're just going to simply place block facing you like we've done on there. And another one like that, which then finishes the propeller. And I think looks really, really sleek and slimline. And uh, yeah, okay. So what we're going to do on the top of here is place one block like this of grey carpet, which uh, is pretty simple, guys. Uh, these are the propeller designs I'm about to show you. You can probably make your own, but these are the way the Tiff did it on the World of Corrales, so we're just going to copy him and go with his flow. What we are going to do, guys, is we're going to place one block there. Boom. Just like that. It's pretty simple. Then we're going to come up by two. Then we're going to come up by three, guys. 
and then we're going to come out by another three. So it should look like this. What you are going to do, guys, is place black carpet on the tops of all of these, just like that. And we're just going to leave it there for now. We will use world in a second to just kind of get rid of that. But uh, what I do want uh, you guys to know is that you can use string under it. If you don't have world edit, you don't have, you know, the ability to get on a server and do that. It's all good. It won't affect you too much. Now what you're going to do, guys, is you're going to place one block like this. Just like that. You're going to place two going that way. Ooh. Two going this way. No, a three, sorry. And then another three. Boom. Just like that. And we're going to carpet all along the top as we did on that one there so now what we're going to do is going to place one there we're going to place a two then a three and then another three and of course black carpet along all the sides of these did i accidentally just place a carpet on that i think i did never mind okay so now the final one we're going to place one then a two then of course a three then another three and then yet again just placing all of the carpet straight there now what we're going to do is going to place stop lag this is going to hold all intensive server activity and what this allows us to do on world edit is just delete the blocks under and uh, it allows the carpet to remain floating without any you know anything holding it up from the underneath which is amazing if you have the world edit but uh, if you don't, please just put string under it. Don't worry about it. You can't really see string anyway. Um, so it shouldn't matter too much. That is what it looks like from above, guys. It looks pretty freaking awesome, I do think. So we're going to grab ourselves a button. And what we're going to do is place one there. Just along the lines of, uh, you know, the quartz slab. And on the other side, we're going to do exactly the same there. Now here, guys, what you can do, and uh, this is just what you can do, place a button here, a tripwire hook, straight there, and then what you can do is grab your signs, and I'm not quite sure what these are for, I think it's just for decoration, but uh, the Tiff put them on his, so what we can do is just, you know, mimic that, and put them there. That's what it looked like, guys, I'm not kind of sure what it's meant to, you know, resemble on a helicopter, but, you know, it's there, just because we can. Now for interior, guys, what you can do is actually block this back wall off unless you kind of wanted to have like a little storage space at the back which i could kind of show you now so if you just placed uh let's see what can we do that there maybe no it'd have to be there boom like that you get your little door get some chests and it's probably be pretty cool for a survival map i guess um yeah so we got the space in here actually to just whack these down there then on the back of this we can place that so you've got your little like chest cupboard area whatever you want you can put some seats there just like that then what we can do is place some more seats just like that making this place kind of comfy and cozy for the people um, what we could do actually is make these two here so you're kind of blocking off this taking that like this placing yourself a chair that kind of looks yeah, just like that. What we need to do is kind of place it sneakily like this. Get ourselves a joystick because helicopters, I'm pretty sure they have joysticks. Just like that, guys. Sorry if you can't see it properly, but you know, it's all good. Grab this. Just like that. And what we can do is grab ourselves a map, guys. If we just grab ourselves a map real quick, what we can do, if we just do this and let it roll with the flow, it will scan our map that we are, you know, in our surroundings and hopefully... If it scans, Jesus, the whole map. I don't know why it's not. What if we just whack it on a bit? But anyway, what you can do is just place the map there like that. Sort of it's a little bit derp, but you get the picture. Kind of looks cool anyway. So, now what you can do is, I guess, give yourself some. Let's see. Boom. Item frames on the side of each of the chairs. Just to give it that kind of effect of the armrests. Just like that. In the middle of these guys, what we can do is grab ourselves a fence. And uh, yeah, let's just go black carpet. We can just whack some black carpet on the top of these to resemble some tables. Maybe on your private helicopter, you want to play poker or something like that. Uh, on the top here, guys, we can literally just fill the top in with snow. So you have a pretty cool helicopter, in my opinion. I think the design that the Taft did was absolutely insane. Um, you've got another space he had to work with. I think he did an amazing job. So, 
thank you for you know having the helicopter on the world of Corrales, buddy. I think it looks absolutely amazing. Hopefully, I did it justice. If you even see this video, but anyway, guys, hopefully you have enjoyed. If you have enjoyed this uh, helicopter tutorial and it's you know you found it in any way helpful, make sure to leave a like, drop a comment what you want to see in the vehicle tutorial series or any let's build. A matter of fact, I did finish school. My last exam officially was today. I never have to sit in a classroom again. Never have to learn math, science, English, all the rest of the crappy stuff. I'm free to do whatever I want. So I can make videos, you know, non-stop if I really wanted to. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Thank you for all recent support. Stay creative, and I'll see you in my next Minecraft video. Bye, guys.